We are back home after uh, going really early to the hospital uh, so Tanya could have her port out. It was getting a little infected, so uh, that's out. She's doing fine. She's inside sleeping now because they gave her a little morphine and some other things to make sure that uh, she didn't feel anything. And uh, so, because it wasn't really invasive, but it would have a little bit of pain. So she's in there sleeping. Even though this is Monday, I'm making this part of. Uh, of Tuesday's vlog uh, just so you guys know that everything went well uh, we'll continue with Tuesday right now happy Tuesday everybody uh, of course the normal predicament what to have for dinner it's a gorgeous gorgeous night so we want to sit on a patio someplace we're going to put the top down on the Camaro uh, and I think we might have some ice cream tonight all right let's see where we end up for dinner I will get in here with my frizzy hair yep. and be like, no, this is your choice. <laughs> nope, Tanya wanted to eat at Castle Florida no. because she wants to sit on no. a patio. Do not so use me. we are, we do not yeah, use yep, me. No, yep, sir, this is where you want to go. I did, I said this is where this you want to go. Patio. But I Castle did not Florida. say I wanted to be Mexican. This was your choice. I gave you 50 choices. No wonder you stuck to it because you wanted to vlog it. I chose ice cream. I chose ice cream. Yeah. We're going to go for ice cream after this, but first we're going to Castle Villarda for Mexican. That's all we eat. Tanya's going with some nachos, some chicken nachos tonight. She's excited about that, I can tell. I'm going with a burrito. Uh, it's a uh, California burrito, so it's got uh, avocado and beef and all that other fun stuff. Some pico, sour cream, everything there. So, and I have a uh, Dos Equis to wash it down. Dos Equis Amber, isn't it not like the best? All right, Tanya and I are at uh, Battleground Park. We're going to do a little walking after. After uh, he made me eat Mexican. Yeah, I, I, I made her eat Mexican he tonight. Made me eat Mexican. Tonight. Don't believe it. Do not believe it. No. Seriously? No, I she's been asking about eating at Castle Villarda, Castle Villarda oh for like gosh, a like, month now. Oh so. Whatever. I'll let's eat somewhere else like 50 other places. I know, but if I didn't eat at Castle Villarda, then you would have been upset. Look at my hair after a ride in the convertible. Mm. Yeah. It's not good for the hair. Well, convertibles aren't good for hair. That's why I wear a hat. All right, well, we're going to take a look at some of the uh, sites here at Battleground Park. There is Nathaniel Green up on the horse. Now, you would say that he would look like the victor of the Battle of Guilford Courthouse. However, that's not the case. He actually lost the battle to Cornwallis because back in the day, or during the Revolution or wars prior, whoever held the field at the end of the battle was the victor and the Americans retreated at the end of that day. However, the British took on a lot of casualties, which helped set up the Battle of Yorktown, in which the Americans were able to claim ultimate victory in the Revolution. The memorial was dedicated in 1915, so it's over 102 years old. It lists the battles in which Nathaniel Green took place. So you have Guilford Courthouse, which is here, uh, and then on the other side, you have the Battle of Harlem Heights, Trenton, Princeton, Brandywine, Germantown, and Monmouth. Two of the signers of the Declaration are actually interned here. Their bodies were actually moved here to be placed on their memorial, and that is William Hooper and John Penn. Joseph Hughes, they don't know where his body is, so they couldn't uh, reintern it here at Guilford Courthouse, but two signers of the Declaration of Independence are actually buried right here in Greensboro by that monument. I am Groot. What do you guys think? Doesn't he look like Groot? There's his head, he's got his arms. Yeah. It's some ice cream, what do you think? <laughs> yeah, because we walked like two seconds. Yeah, we walked for about seven steps. I deserve ice cream today because I yeah. had a really bad morning, so I deserve all the ice cream in the world. Yep. So you get all whatever you want. I'm going to get a cone. We are going to try Izzy's ice cream. We've never been here before. It's over here on Battleground. Kind of like a bunch of leaves of Military Park and there's Battleground. So let's go try some ice cream. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish this. <laughs> so big. 
Wow, what a night. Uh, Ozzy's Ice Cream Place is awesome. I strongly encourage you, if you're one of my Greensboro uh, subscribers or watchers, to go there. It is really, really good. Pricing is awesome. I think it's actually less than going to like Ben & Jerry's or going to uh, uh, Cold Stone, and the ice cream is really, really, really good. You get a good serving as well. Uh, also, I had a lot of fun walking around uh, the Guilford Courthouse uh, Battleground Park, uh, so that was a lot of fun. Uh, I Obviously, I'm a big history buff, um, uh, and I love to uh, talk about that to particular battle, only because it meant so much to us getting our independence uh, from the British. Uh, as Americans, that battle is really the pinnacle point uh, that really forced Cornwallis to hunker down in Yorktown, to wait for more supplies and wait for more men. And it just happened to be that the French finally showed up and we could just basically surround Cornwallis and blockade him in at Yorktown. And that ended the war and basically a few years later got us our independence because it took a while to sign treaties and stuff. But uh, so yeah, I love, uh, love talking about history and there's a lot of it here in North Carolina. Uh, growing up in New York, tons of history in New York as well. So uh, uh, I'll definitely get into a little bit more history stuff as we get move, move further into future vlogs. So expect me to nerd out. On history stuff so uh, that's gonna wrap up tonight uh, tomorrow night we're gonna meet up with Stephanie haven't seen her in a while uh, so that should be fun catching up with her 